So Mia, uh, you seem to really be the, the 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 talk of the Muay Thai world at the moment. So uh, tell us about what's going on with your Muay Thai debut. Um, I am going to Thailand on Monday, and I have my um, pro fight debut early May. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, do you know where the fight's going to be, or or the exact date yet? Um, the exact date, no, but I'm going to be on Koh Samui in Thailand, um, training at my gym, Yot Yot Muay Thai. Um, so I'll fight out of that gym in one of the local stadiums. Um, obviously I need to get there for the date to be set because it's how it is in Thailand, but yeah. So, uh, who are you training with? Anybody we would know? Um, yeah, I train in New York with, I train Muay Thai with Phil Nurse at the Watt. Um, I also train boxing with Hollywood Hino at Church Street Boxing. Um, I took on a boxing coach because I wanted to improve my hands because, you know, being tall, generally, when I'm fighting, I use my legs, I keep the opponent away, and I actually was finding it very difficult to land solid punches and actually hurt my 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 opponent with punches so um for the past couple of months i've taken on a boxing coach and i think that i've worked really well with Kino. um and i think i got what i wanted out of the boxing coach um so i'm excited to to put this all together to go out to thailand and, and to kind of put it all together what i learned and uh phil nurse is obviously amazing at what he does he is unlike any other thai boxing coach in the world he I mean, he trains with some of the greatest fighters on the planet, and he um, is really great at the, the mental side of Muay Thai and, you know, the head game of it and, and the strategy and seeing opportunities and creating opportunities and manipulating your, your opponent. And um, there's always so much to be learned from him um, and a lot of clinch. He's amazing at clinch work. So um, I've, got a, I've had a really solid team. I'm in New York, and I'm, I'm excited to go to Thailand now and train with my um, local trainers, bang it out, get acclimatized and ready for the fight. Cool. So um, do you have an opponent yet or, or anything like that? Has, has any name come up? or? Um, th- I have an opponent in mind um, because it's rare to find Thai girls who are my height. Yeah. So I do have an opponent in mind, but again, it's Thailand. You know, they don't do things so far in advance, so I'll get there, and then the details of it all will will come together. Are they still really kind of, um, I don't know what the word is, maybe superstitious about women fighting over there in Thailand? Um, I wouldn't call it superstition. I would say that it's just a cultural difference, right? It's, um, it's, yes, there's definitely uh, a taboo. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but... Um, women, you know, just culturally, women are treated differently. Even as far as it comes to women enter the ring under the ropes, men can go in through the ropes or over the ropes. Yeah. Um, you know, it is it is definitely that way, and I know that it's definitely um, frowned upon for, um, you know, they're very much like, oh, you're you're pretty, why would you fight? They don't think that <laughs> fighting is for pretty... For, for women, I think, or for pretty women. But, you know, times are changing, and, and yeah, my, I mean, my gym's always so lovely and welcoming to me, so it hasn't, it doesn't really affect me. But it's definitely, it definitely exists. It's definitely there. Yeah. And I would imagine there's probably a lot of people out there thinking that, uh, you know, why would this girl want to have a pro Muay Thai fight, especially where elbows are allowed. In fact, I saw uh, something on your Twitter feed where Paul Lazenby uh, mentioned, uh, it is a former uh, guest on the show as well, that uh, it really takes a lot of guts for somebody who is, you know, makes their living uh, with their looks to be able to just step in there in a fight where elbows are legal. So uh, how did you come to that conclusion? I thought, I thought that's great. I did, I, yeah. I did reply, but I thought that was a big compliment, actually, because it's true. It's... Um, it's, I have to plan accordingly um, in case something does happen to me. I'm fully aware of, of the potential outcomes, right? I'm, I'm fully aware, but I'm confident in myself and in my ability 
that I'm going to be able to protect myself and to um, have, you know, to, to have offense. So I'm, people always ask me, aren't you afraid? Aren't you scared? Or what, if, what if this happens to you? I'm more thinking about what I'm going to do. I'm not worried about what's going to happen to me. I'm thinking what I'm going to do to her. Um, and I think that's the correct mind frame. Um, it's obviously, I do think it does take courage and it does take guts, but again, I don't need to fight. I'm not a prof- I'm not, I am not. don't make a career. I don't have a career out of fighting. I'm a model. Um, I'm fighting because I want to, not because I have to. So this is my decision that I wanted to do my first professional fight. Um, again, Muay Thai is one of those things. It's not like karate where you can get like a brown belt and a black belt or jujitsu, you know, it's the only way to test your ability is to actually fight. So I want to challenge myself. I want to learn from this experience. I want to do it in, in the most authentic way possible. I want to fight in Thailand. I want to fight a Thai girl. Um, and yeah, I fully embrace the, the entire journey of it all. And I think that it's a good learning experience and growing experience. And um, I'm happy that everybody in my modeling career supports this decision. So yeah, I'm excited. Very, very excited. So take me through the uh, decision to actually take a fight. Now, I had um, Joanna Janjacek, the UFC women's strawweight champion on the show. She said right. that she did uh, Muay Thai in the beginning just for fitness and, and just for fun. And then it somehow evolved uh, into a, a very successful fight career. So is that kind of the same thing you went through as well? Well, I definitely think that people are born fighters or not. I think that there's definitely fighting is for some people and it's just for fitness or just for training for other people. For me, um, I kind of always knew that I was never going to do it half-assed. I always knew that I was never just going to train and be like, yeah, okay, you know, fighting, that's not for me. Um, but I definitely remember that moment that, that changed, uh, where something in my mind changed when I was watching fights in a stadium and I was watching two girls fight and, um, I kept it. I turned around to my trainers and I was like, I can do this. I want to do this. I could have won that fight. I want to do this. Um, so something just shifted in me where I wanted to, to, you know, take the next challenge and I wanted to test my ability and test myself. So, I mean, who, who knows what's going to happen after this? Um, you know, knowing me, I'm probably going to be like, when's the next fight? Yeah. <laughs> but let's see, you know, I might, I might come out of this and think, all right, cool. That's ticked off the bucket list. I did that. Um, now on to the next, but we'll see what happens. So do you feel like you have more to prove because you are a model and that some people are going to be thinking like, ah, okay, this is just some model. She's looking for attention. Like, you know, did you feel like you really have something more to prove than the normal fighter? I definitely do. I think that people judge me, um, all the time. And I feel like, I feel like I want, whether I feel like, whether I need to prove people wrong, I feel like I want to prove people wrong. Um, um, yeah, I do. I feel like I definitely do. So how hard is it to find an opponent? Because this is obviously going to be a pretty high profile matchup for whoever takes the fight. So are there people like banging down the door trying to get this fight? Are there, are people scared to take it or? Listen, in Thailand, they don't care. They don't care if I'm a model. They don't care. They don't know. Um, you know what I mean? Fighting to them is a whole different... It's their national sport. They do it six days a week. So I'm just another challenger. They don't really see um, who I am or, or any of that. And to be honest, I don't want them to. And that's kind of what I love. That's what I really loved about Thai boxing and, and training out there is that they don't care or know who I am. They just... I'm just another girl training with everybody else, you know? Um, nobody treats me in a fragile way or tiptoes around me or anything like that. I get treated like everybody else, and and I like that. So uh, who is your favorite Thai fighter or, or kickboxer or MMA fighter out there? My favorite Thai fighter is Sanchai. It would have to be Sanchai and Bokao, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Um, two very different kinds of fighters, but, you know, legend. Um, Sanchai is phenomenal. I'm actually going to be training with him in Yokao, um just before this fight, which I'm very excited about. Um, but, yeah, those are my two. 
staves. Why do you think that uh, Muay Thai has not really had the uh, international kind of success that kickboxing or, or Western boxing has had? Um, because it is a very uh, it is a very cultural sport, right? It's the national sport of Thailand. It's you know they have the whole the the, the prayers and you know all kinds of customs and things that I think that the West just doesn't want to understand. They want it simplified for them, and a simplified version of that is is kickboxing. I think uh, as more relatable, but. You know, I, I do have hope for Muay Thai, and I really think that, that America and the West has this, like, desire to see barbaric fights, you know? Like, the, the love for the MMA and, like, pounding in the face, and <laughs> they want to see blood, and they want to see a vicious sport. And I think that not many people know enough about Thai boxing, and that's what I, re- I really like, that um, I'm shedding some light on the sport, you know, and I do have hope that it will gain popularity when people know a little bit more about it because it is, I'm sure you know as well, like it's an incredibly respectable sport and so entertaining to watch. It's so fast. It's so fast. It's so brutal. Um, a lot of bloodshed. What's not the, the like there? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, what kind of a, of a game plan are you putting together with your with your coaches? Are they teaching you to pace yourself and to go the five rounds? Or are you getting in there and trying to finish your opponent as quick as possible? Or is there something else that you're looking at doing? Listen, I'm training for I'm training to go all the rounds. That's what I'm doing. Um, what's going to actually happen? I can't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm training for the stamina for, you know, to go the whole way. Um, that's my, and you know, it's my first pro fight. I'm sure a lot of it is going to be adrenaline driven and um, there's going to be a lot of emotions involved. So that's really my main focus is the, is the fight with myself, let alone my opponent. It's controlling my, my emotions, um, keeping my self-confidence up. Um, controlling my aggression, controlling, you know, it's that, that battle with yourself that you need to deal with when you step into the ring um, that I'm really focused on right now. Yeah, it's a good attitude to have. Um, so if with your potential opponent perhaps at listening to this uh, right now, what words would you have to say to her? Oh... <laughs> um, Bring it. Basically, bring your 100%, because um, I'm going to bring 150. I'm going all the way. I'm excited. Um, this might be my one and only time that I do this, so um, I'm not holding back. 